welcome in. All right, so let's prove this um, thing right here. So we have n, which is greater than one, but n is odd. So if you recall, okay, so in terms of odd and being greater than one, so odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. So I think you can see the pattern there. Now we're gonna be omitting one, okay? So this is greater than one, so that means it's three, five, seven, nine, okay, etc. Then, if we take our odd number and we square it um, and we subtract one, it's gonna be divisible by eight. Okay, so just to give you a gist first, okay, so what this means. Well, if we take three, for instance, okay, and we square it, we're gonna get nine, and nine minus one is gonna be equal to eight. Well, as you can see, eight is clearly divided, okay, or divisible by eight, okay, so that is nice. Now, if we take five and we square it, we get to 25. 25 minus one is gonna be equal to 24. And 24, okay, if we would divide 24 by eight, okay, we again are gonna get a nice number. So 24 is divisible um, by eight. And then we can continue this. So if you take seven, so that's 49 minus one, it's gonna be 48. Well, and then you can ask the question, is 48 divisible by eight? Well, yes, it is. You know, you can check. Well, it's going to be equal to six. So divisibility means that um, eight is going to go into n squared minus one without any remainders, okay? If we would do kind of our standard division. And we can continue this all the way throughout. So proving, you know, for three, five, and seven, um, we have just done that, but this is asking us for the general case. So n, you know, is somewhere down the line maybe, okay, or it can be any of these. And now the question is, okay, so is this going to be divisible by eight? Okay, so um, the first thing that I actually notice, and this is just being comfortable kind of with some mathematical formulations, is n squared minus one is nothing else but a difference of squares. So it's n minus one multiplied by n plus one. So that particular difference of squares, if you really wanna learn okay, about the difference of squares, I can put up a link up above there and I'll talk about the difference. But for this particular case, this is all we need. Now, the reason why I do this is because I know that n is odd. <clears throat> okay, so n is odd over here. And if you're going along, right, so if you have your odd numbers um, and you now subtract one from it or you add one from that, then that would actually mean that both of these numbers are gonna be even because, okay, so if we were, you know, writing these numbers out, okay, so we would get, you know, n minus one, the next number is n, and then you would get n plus one. So n is odd, which means the one, which when we subtract one from it, it's gonna be even, okay? And if we add one, it's gonna be even. So with that knowledge, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, okay, for some, let's say m, okay? And m is going to be some natural number for me, okay? I know that um, n minus one is going to be an even number Okay, so it's gonna be two multiplied by m. And that makes this even because I am multiplying by two. And once I do that, um, I'm going to isolate for n here. So if I solve this um, for n, then I'm gonna get n is just equal to two m plus one because I can bring this one over on the other side. Now, what do I get out of that? Well, what that means is that n plus one is going to be 2m plus 1, so that's my n plus the 1, which is nothing else but 2m plus 2. So this right here, okay, that I have, the n minus 1 and n plus 1, can be rewritten in terms of m right there in this case. So this is going to be 2m, that's my n minus 1, multiplied by n plus one, which is just two, and then I'm gonna factor out that 
two out of both of these terms. So I'm going to get this. Now you might say, why are you doing that? Well, I'm ultimately trying to show that the n minus 1 times n plus 1 is divisible by 8. Okay, so that's what I'm ultimately after. Now, if you notice this statement, the way that it's written, um, I can take the 2 out of here, okay? And I can take the 2 out of here. So that's going to be 2 squared. And then that's going to leave me with m, and then it's going to leave me with m plus 1. So now, 2 squared is 4, correct? And my ultimate goal is, is this whole thing divisible by 8? But 8 is nothing else but 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed, right? That's what we have. So really, this is now 2 squared, m, m plus 1, and then here in the denominator, okay, I can say, you know, this is 2 squared times 2, which is just 2 cubed or just equal to 8. So clearly, you know, these two will cancel. So it's certainly divisible by four. And now the question is, is m multiplied by m plus one divisible by two? And of course it is, because either m or m plus one is going to be even, okay? So m is some natural number, right? Okay, we don't know exactly what it is because we don't exactly know what n is, but it is some natural number. So m is either going to be odd or it's going to be even, right? So m is either odd, which means if that is the case, then m plus 1 has to be even. And if it's even, then it's definitely divisible by 2. And we have just shown that the whole thing is now divisible by 8. If, on the other hand, m is even, well, then we don't really care what m plus 1 is, although that will be odd, because now, okay, with this being even, it's going to be, again, divisible by 2. So no matter what m is, if it's odd or if it's even, that m times m plus 1 is going to be divisible by 2. So... Well, it's divisible by 4, okay, and it's divisible by 2, and 4 times 2 is 8, which we were actually after. So here is, you know, a little bit of a proof for this. I didn't use induction or anything. I just simply showed it, okay? So it's interesting that if you take an odd number, okay, you square it and you subtract 1 from it, it's always going to be divisible by 8. All right. So I hope that helped you okay, in terms of that explanation. If you have any questions, you can put them up in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in a future video. Bye, everybody.